Hello everyone, and welcome to Smelter! Uh, so I was going to do Forgone, but for some reason, uh, my for my uh, my game did not want to play nice with OBS. I don't know why. It seemed like it was working at first, but any time I tried to do anything else, it just... It would crash, it would freeze, OBS would stop recording. So, we're gonna try this instead! This seemed to work okay. So, and I hope it stays that way. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I clicked off, so it might. There we go. Oh, do I need to press the start button? Hello, CJ. How you doing? Can you hear everything okay? We've got things a little quieter on my end today. <laughs> now, I don't know if you were here when I was making the announcement. I was going to do a different game today. I had announced it at the end of stream last time. Uh, which is also what the title is for. It's a bit of a joke at it. Because for some reason, it didn't want to play nice with OBS. When I tried to run it earlier today, because I, I tried to test things to make sure they they work properly. And after a while, I just got fr so frustrated I gave up. So, we're trying this one instead. <laughs> I do like the music for this, though. Uh, how do I... Get, there we go. What, I might have to adjust the controls. That's awkward. Oh, God, no. Well, you know what, maybe those will work for that with platformer. Defense, jump, attack. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like dash on the right bumper. Can I change that? I can't. Wait, I was pressing the wrong button. There we go. I like I like my dashes on my left bumper, not my right bumper. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, aside from aside from that, I was a little tired today. I think I'm okay though. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, there we go. I didn't mean to accidentally hit that. Other. I'm gonna swap those two. There we go. That's better. Who uses who uses the circle button to confirm? I mean, unless you're playing Final Fantasy VII, in which case you don't have a choice. I don't like that though. I never have. All right. I'll hope the other controls are doing fine though. <laughs> I, which I don't know if I've mentioned. Some areas might be traversed in different ways using different skills. Okay. Um, even though I'm using a Xbox controller for PC, just because my PS4 controller doesn't like to play nice with my with my PC, even when I use the programs to have it read it properly, I still register things with PlayStation controls because that's just the controller I'm more used to. Plus, if I try to remember A, B, X, Y, um, Nintendo controllers also use A, B, X, Y, but they're arranged differently, so it makes it really confusing. So I just remember things in square, triangle, circle, cross. Okay, so there's no actual sound for this. You have a Nintendo Switch, nice. Uh, Apple 
Eden, I'm assuming that's Adam and Eve by the by the guess of things. With the way it's been sort of going. Eve could have never predicted the events that would transpire after Adam succumbed to the tempting aura of the forbidden fruit. Okay, I was right. After watching her beloved Adam consume it and witnessing the great white light fall from the heavens, Eve soon saw the world around her disappear and soon found herself falling through nothing but emptiness and darkness. But not complete darkness, because complete darkness would be way too scary. It was more like a slight darkness. You know, the kind of darkness when you see when you close your eyes? Kind of like that. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's not completely serious. I'm okay with that. What? What do you mean, stay focused? I am focused. Haven't you heard of narration before? I'm trying to paint a vivid picture for the audience. I want to do my job and you do yours. <laughs> Fine. was a little slow for uh as she fell a faint emerald light started to glimmer below her she did not know what would become of her once she reached that light and this is how her story began so it scrolls a little slow for the jokes but i still appreciate them nonetheless i also appreciate the fact that it's slow enough that i can read it 1.8k maple leaves, of course. Adam? You asking about Adam? He ain't here. It's just you. Not in control yet. Okay, now I'm in control. What? I think I hit the wrong thing. Ah, return to last checkpoint, which kills me. Why is it so quiet? Why? Why did all the volumes just mute themselves completely? I bet there was supposed to be audio for that intro. Oh, should I redo the intro for the potential music and, so and other audios? Because I feel bad that those weren't there. It's also entirely possible that the lines are actually spoken and I don't actually have to say anything. Here, hold on. I just want to make sure. None of this is too loud, right? Everything sounds good? Okay. We're gonna try that intro again. <laughs> uh, hold on just a minute. Hold on just a hot minute. You sure you want to go back to the title screen after all we've been through? You'll lose any unsafe progress, you know. Uh, sure do. <laughs> okay gonna you're gonna stay functioning this time audio better sheesh Did you know hints tell you things that might help you in game life or other conquests <laughs> I like this game's sense of humor already oh my god there was supposed to be audio holy cow like, yeah, they didn't actually say anything, figures, but... The lack of audio from before. Man, that's like somebody dropped a nuke on the Garden of Eden. <laughs> okay, so it's not gonna read it out loud. But there is sound. Okay, so I feel fine skipping that part. Now that I know that everything else actually has proper audio now. I don't know why it turned that off. That was so weird. Okay, so we can jump and we can kick.
No climbing the chains, which is a little unfortunate. They look like something you could grab onto and climb. Falling platforms. Ah. Which, uh, I, have, I haven't said yet. Um, this is going to basically be a very classic Metroidvania type of experience. Or at least I think it will be. It looked like it was supposed to be. Uh, am I supposed to start running because things are... Yep, yeah, it's all collapsing behind me. It's all collapsing very quickly behind me. Oh no. At least it's not a precision platformer. I can't handle those. Who? Who? 1.4k maple leaves yesterday. The watch street. Oh yeah. Uh, down into the pits of... I don't know where. Hey! Do I hear footsteps? If someone's up there, help me. Uh... Okay. Who, who am I helping? Who am I helping and why? Holy smokes! I knew I was right! Hey, you tippity tapping up there! I'm down here! Drop down and get me out of here, will ya? This place could come down any second. I don't wanna. I don't want my beautiful face crushed. Oh boy, sounds like this place is coming down. I guess it's the end of the road for me. All right, all right, I'm coming to get you. What are you? Hi. Took you long enough, but I guess I owe you. How in the world did you even end up down here anyway? Hmm, interesting, very interesting. Some say silence speaks louder than words, but you're really destroying that whole expression, aren't you? Just give me a minute. I can read minds. Hmm. Uh-huh. I see. I see. I can clearly detect you're looking for your boyfriend. I bet I'm right. Am I right? Tell me I'm right. I'm going to take that face as a yes. Alright. Where are my manners? The name's, uh, Mel... Mm. Smelter. Yeah, let's go with that. Sorry, the name my pals call me is kind of hard to say. Full of vowels and, uh throat noises. <laughs> I'm just your run-of-the-mill angel. A really good one. Uh, you don't look like an angel. I'm just saying. Uh oh, this place is actually starting to come down. Whatever could that be? Quick. Flute... Flute... Poo? What? No, no, it's completely normal. Just stand still. Magical Girl Transformation Time! <laughs> Wonderful posing and great presentation. Really takes me back. Never mind that. Knock down those blocks so we can get out of here. Alright, I now have armor. Sentient armor. With a Magical Girl Transformation. Not much time for dilly-dallying, but as you might have noticed, We've flutipooed, so now you can wear me. What that means is you're not going is you're not so squishy now because of this amazing ritual my kind made. You see, long ago, when there were more of my kind wait, what am I doing? We don't have time for an emotional flashback. Time to get out of this hellhole before this place starts coming down too. You still have to learn some stuff on the go. Onwards! Onwards indeed. Why is there is that a hand? Tail? Okay, there's my dash. Oh, I can wall jump already. I wouldn't think it would give me a power that a power like that that quickly. I have I do not have a natural double jump though. I, I am totally surprised that it would give me a jump though. And of course I can jump dash. Very nice. Cannot air dash, though. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's one of those ancient thingamajigs! It's called a... Coin... Wait, that sounds off. Um... 
Oh, well, it'll come back to me. Just try to smelt it. Smelter's smelt ability can manipulate various things that glow green. Enemies can also be smelted when glowing green for more HP. If you see something glowing green, try smelting it. Okay. Bravo, you're growing up so fast. Right, upwards and onwards. Okay. I'm guessing that's a save point. Hello! Hello, Seiji. So there's a farmer's market. Ooh. Ooh. Dude. Do you know where it's at? It's happening every Thursday. Oh, no. I'm... It, if it's still gonna be there next Thursday, I might have to not stream next Thursday so I can try going to the farmer's market. Oh, and Jordan Landing. Ooh. Farmer's markets always have such nice food. <laughs> I know that's like a dumb thing. But, I mean, I can get, like, fresh jam... Especially if I can find, like, a peach rhubarb preserve. Oh, baby. I could kill for a peach rhubarb preserve. There's an art studio advertising there. Ooh. Well, well, well. If it isn't my greatest foe, a slime. I've been destroying those this entire time. Time to show you what I'm made of. Let's go over there so I can give them a taste of my smelt blade. Pretty cool name, right? I'll give us some juice, so let's try executing a smelt blade on these things. Whenever Eve's smelt power gauge is full, Smelter will unleash a powerful attack. Each smelt blade costs three bars. Attacking enemies will refill the smelt power gauge. Okay. Nice. And that's also what I use that for. I also get local honey. We bought some art from them that... Ooh, that I might like. I'll have to see it. Maybe send me a picture on Discord. I mean, unless you plan on, like, bringing it over to show me in person at some point. Because I do want to try and go to that farmer's market at some point as well. Okay, we made it to the exit. All thanks to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I guess you did help a bit. At any rate, get yourself ready for what's up next, because we're going to the... Rumbly Lands. Anywho, let's get out of here. My residence wait my return. To the Rumbly Lands we go. Onwards, chop chop. Leaving to go spend time with Tiff and plan her wedding with her. Ah, fair enough. You go do that. Thank you for stopping by, though, and telling me about the, uh, farmer's market. <laughs> uh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. Welcome to the Rumbly Lands. Now that we can flute poo, you can help me out while I help you find your Adam. First, let me show you around my magnificent empire. Wait, what the hell happened here? My heart is still here, but where the hell is the rest of my empire? Y your despicableness. You have returned? I sure have. I'm sure I was dearly missed. Without question, my lord. More importantly, what in my name has happened to my empire? Explain yourself. Of course, your large wingedness. You've come just in time. Your beloved heart and the surrounding structures have all have been all but destroyed. Your loyal forces have done their best to fend off the enemy, but to no avail. I'm sure there's something you can do to get us out of this dreadful situation. Well, since you ask nicely, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, my lord. Time to stretch these wings of mine a bit and take care of these guys. Attacking the rum in the rumbly lands. These are some funky names. Smelter can defend his Zerms and his empire by attacking. 
Okay, this is the right stick. Leave my stuff alone. Look at this unforgivable mess they've made. My apologies, my lord. This just proves how much your presence is needed here. Your Zerms are lost without you. Ah, they weren't already at blast those plumps from the Garubi domain into pieces again. And not only did they take down one of my Zerm houses, they did a number on the Zerm barracks too. Yes, your greatness. Again, my apologies. Hello, Luna Star. How are you doing? However, as much as we Zerms would love to, I believe there is not much time for a joyous reunion. Right you are, Commander. Time to get this place back into shape. I want to repair buildings, but to do that I need helium. To get that helium, I gotta harvest it. When I say I, I mean my Zerm harvesters. Let's run over to that fisher over there and summon a Zerm harvester. Oh my god, it it's an RTS as well. Wait, how do you summon? Hold B. Ah, uh, well, ain't that a sight for sore eyes. Should be more fissures throughout the Rumbly Lands, so we should summon more Zerm Harvesters on them if we want to increase our helium harvesting speed. Although, we'll need to make sure they're protected, since baddies sometimes like to try to take them down. Anywho, now that we have some income, let's spend the first helium to repair the damaged buildings. You have to be the ice-type gym. <laughs> Just, your Charizard stats are trash? Oof. Good luck with that. I mean, Charizard does technically have good odds. I mean, well, as long as it's primarily pure ice, as soon as you start mixing other elements, fire's gonna start struggling, so... Do have a variety. Um, rock can work well, steel can work well, uh... Fighting can work well as well. That's one that I tend to forget sometimes, so... Well, hopefully that, that helps you out with your... With your coverage a little bit. In case... In case something happens to... Charizard, or if... It's something that Charizard can't damage with a good multiplier. Or even if it's got, like, really high special defense. That'd be a problem, too. Anyways. Structures that need to be repaired will have this symbol. Smelter can spend helium to cast repair on his structures and other important structures such as occupied ruins while he does other things. Okay, how do I do that? Repair the Zerm. I do have to be above it, so right bumper. What is this? Okay. Commander? Yes, your greatness? Oh, hey, Buffer and Rage. Thank you for the lurk. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, it's a great attack stat. He's level 54. His defense is 40. Hey. Yeah, this is low as hell. That is pretty low for his level. Like, usually your, lo your stats exceed your level. So, that's... That's kind of bad. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Now that I've so graciously saved the day and repaired my buildings, which you failed to protect while I was away, I'm sure some of my Zerm forces are ready to get back to work. Of course, they're ready and waiting your command. That's what I like to hear. Time to call some Zerms over to occupy the Zerm barracks so that they'll fight for me. Okay. Neat. Perfect. These Zerms should keep things pretty safe for now. Your Magnificence! Can't you see I'm in the middle of a tutorial? What is it? <laughs> of course. My apologies, I just wanted to inform you that while you were away, we managed to gain access to Goombor. Oh, well that's good news! At least you managed to do something while I was gone. Your words are too kind, my lord. Additionally, we've confirmed the existence of a Doma Stone inside. By retrieving it, we expect that not only will you be able to restore some of the power you lost before being banished by the Guardians, it'll also remove the barrier blocking the way to the Garubi, uh, Gurabi Domain. This day just keeps getting better! I 
think it's time to head in there and find that stone. Getting it will further secure the safety of my empire, which will make it easier to find your boy. Trust me. Keep watch here, Commander. We'll head to Gumbor and check it out. Yes, my lord. Uh, can I assign anybody to this? No? Okay. You're just not gonna let me do anything with these other... bits and pieces? Okay. Fine. I feel like there's... I'm going to have to learn a lot faster for the next time that comes up. <laughs> I haven't worked for a minute. You want to super train your Pokemon to get their stats up. You need both hands. <laughs> Fair enough. I know you need both hands to do super training. Did you make sure to unlock all levels of super training, by the way? Ah, Goombor, this takes me back. It was once a training grounds for the Gurabi forces. Most of it was made up of these little guys called Bloxes, Bloxies, ah, oh, whatever you call them. And we're in luck. Looks like there's still some around. Let's go give them a nice smelter hello. So need to find the Gurabi Doma Stone, which should be somewhere around these grounds. Oh, there we go. I have to defeat them first. Then I can use the smelter on them. Shit, this game. And this game all's flying everywhere. I mean, it does suck, but if you do all six of the level ones, even if, like, just pick, like, a Pokemon you're not planning to use for it, have them do all six of the first ones, it'll unlock the second level. Do all six of the second level. Then the third level show up. Do all six of the third level, and I think if you can get medals in all of them, you unlock the super secret training, which you can use to get, like, free evolution stones and stuff. It's great. It was also really convenient to have at the beginning of the game. If you needed something like that. I don't do it on stream because it, it takes so long to do. Alright, forges. All domains have them, and I can do even more by absorbing their power. Try hopping up on that one and see what happens, okay? Wait for it. Woo! Bam! Do you feel that? The power of this forge is rushing through me, which also makes you nice and beefed up. Let's see if we can find more forges while we look for that stone. Also, let's give the next guy we see a whap. Something tells me we can deal out, uh, out heavier hits now. New skills unlocked. Earth Basher, Face Pummeler, and Swipe. Uh, let's check out the skill tree. I have a skill tree! Do I have skill points? Do I, do I have these automatically? Uh, execute an upward attack with up attack. Face pummeler. Um, I get a three hit combo. And down attack. Okay. Hold up. I thought I could do more with that. I can make them stop temporarily. Nice. Wait a second. Can I turn that into a sh I can basically turn the environment into a shotgun. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh. I need to try and... Okay, I still can't hurt that guy. Me 
air attack combo works from the air, which is great. This is pretty cool so far, not gonna lie. Found an apple core. Collect apple cores and use them to upgrade Smelter's heart to get additional bonuses for his empire and structure upgrades. Okay. Actually, I see that hole there. this okay so this one doesn't open but that one does can't go any higher up what is here what secrets have we discovered whoa don't get yourself killed let's do this whoa Yes, I did fail. Okay. Uh, can I affect the, the wall here? I cannot. Okay. I needed to go just a little bit sooner. Oh boy. I'm assuming I get something for reaching the end of this. Ah, I can't dash in the air. Oops. Like if I'm falling, I'm hitting the dash button, nothing happens. I did that completely wrong. Okay, so there is no uh, being immune. Ah, too soon. That part is gonna get me the mo the most times. Oh boy. I really want to try and make it through this because I feel like there's gonna be something cool at the end. I'm hoping. Not just a, oh hey, hey, you did the thing. Good job. If, if so, then I will never do these again. shiniest token I've ever seen. Jeez, do you know anything? We can use these things at special forges scattered around the Rumbly Lands in the Three Domains. Offering one of these to the silly forge gods makes our Flutipu stronger. Activating different forges lets you do way more cool stuff, and it means more power for me, which will be really helpful later. Let's swing by a forge later and see what we can get. Heck yeah, I got something! Nice! Oh god, CJ. <laughs> You need to charge your phone. Got um, Charizard's defense stat from 48 to 102. Oh, I'm surprised you decided to focus on defense for him. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised, but... No, no, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you decided to focus on his defense, specifically. Here's another. All right, what do, what do I get now? I feel like I... Well, you have a spring in your step now. Let's see if we can jump up to that ledge. Ooh, do I get a higher jump? Or double jump? Blast off and wall grab. Uh, let's see. Wall grab. You can completely stop and hang to the wall indefinitely. Ooh, that would that would have been handy. <laughs> a left bumper during wall slide. And let's see. Charge to blast into the air to reach higher places. Ooh. So, nice. 
So, my high jump works a bit differently than I expected, but... Hello, you. Yeah. Apple corn. can use the high jump in combat, I just gotta be quick about it. Wow, even just the, the light tap for the high jump is actually a good deal higher. That's... that's amazing. But I got it. Absol is too strong. Oh, dude, I love Absol. It's not like it, it's definitely not the best Pokemon, even even among other Dark types. But oh man, it's just so satisfying to use. Especially if you teach it me first. I had a me first Absol. It was hilarious. I got to me first a uh, Lucario's close combat once. Oh man, it was hilarious. Friggin' absolutely destroyed their Lucario. Okay. Collected a lot of green, not sure what for. crystal. Interesting, but what is in here? Is this another challenge room? It is. Don't get spotted. Oh, god. expecting to have to worry about a stealth section. I'm assuming I can't attack them. Ooh, yeah, one try! Hate <laughs> solving riddles, puzzles. This guy testing them. <laughs> oh, oh, the ice jet, right. I mean, I'm okay with riddles and puzzles. I'm not, I'm not particularly great at them. Wait, no, there was stuff back there. Oh shoot. Oh, wait, can I go back? I think I might be able to go back. Yeah. All of the loot. What the heck? Oh, right. Give me that. I was a little confused for a second. I thought something else had popped up. So I'm collecting something in the upper right. I'm assuming it's something I need. Music in this game is great. I hope everyone else likes the music. I like it. cameras in the way. 122 of the orange substance. Now 
154. I might as well grab more of that green. Um, I have not heard a hello there in chat and as a sound redeem, so I'm guessing he's not here right now. So he does like to do that. I'm guessing I go this way? I do go this way. Oop. I also keep forgetting to use my smelter power. Will I ever do a face reveal? Mm, I'm going to say no because I'm paranoid. <laughs> if, if it ever happens, it won't be for a while. We'll just put it that way because you never know, maybe, maybe one day I'll be less paranoid. So, uh, so it might happen. But don't don't plan on it being any time in the near future. Yeah, hard as a rock. Looks like this rock covering my armor can be made even thicker. It might get a bit heavier, but I think it could also be used to defend against attacks better. I'm sure we'll get a chance to try it out. Forwards and onwards on our search for the Doma Stone. <laughs> yeah, true anxiety. Trust me, I've got anxiety. I really do. So flex this and rockin' body. Oh my god. Those names. Uh, Smelter forms a layer of rock around Eve's body, making her much heavier. Uh, use rock and body the moment a projectile is supposed to hit Eve to neutralize the damage. Works on most projectiles. Ah, I see. And then I can just face tank the tornado. Nice. I kind of want to go up, though. There's loot up here. Why wouldn't I want to go up? One better go down. Oh no. Case. Uh, wait, you can't. You can't use your phone while it's charging. That doesn't make much sense. I can use my phone and still have it charge. I'll, but then again, I also don't know how old your phone is, so might be the battery is not so good in it anymore. What's that, you? Or are you a gym leader? <laughs> there it is. The thing that I want. Which is also going to come with a free boss fight. Called it. Did he come down on a grappling hook? So, you finally made it. Don't just show up like that. You want to give me a heart attack? Who the heck are you? The one who has been monitoring me. Well, that's not creepy at all, and that doesn't answer my question. There'll be more time for questions later. I know you're here for the Garuba, or Gar Garabi Doma Stone, and I have no intention of stopping you. Just meet me outside to the north once you've finished here, and I'll be waiting for you. Oh, maybe not a boss fight? Until we meet again. How is that rope even holding him? Yeah, forget it. Anyways, getting that stone there will let us transform, even outside the Garub, uh, Garami domain, making it possible to do different things. Pretty neat, right? Let's break it out of there so we can just snatch it and leave. Oh, I didn't know I could just right bumper up. Well, that's convenient. Looks like that did something. Let's get out of here and tell Commander Zerma the good news. 
All right, no boss fight. Wow. <laughs> no, not too long. Yeah, fair enough, CJ. Fair enough. M my lord, I regret to inform you that Gumbor has been overrun by the green one. Ah, we have an upcoming boss fight indeed. Ominous Shadow is ominous, so he's back. Your controls can be revamped on the controls menu to achieve the perfect configuration so you don't die as much. <laughs> Keyword being as much. Excellent! Looks like the tri Trials Obelisk is back up. We can use this to quickly head back to any of the trials we have found. That means we don't have to head all the way back to where we found them. Pretty nifty, right? We made it out there without too much trouble. And we managed to get the Doma Stone. Not too shabby. 2,000 maple leaves, CJ. Oh my goodness. Welcome back, your greenness. Commander, I've returned with a gar Garabi Doma Stone. It's, why is that going to be so hard for me to say every single time? I believe congratulations are in order. Congratulations, my lord. You're too kind. I've also got my hands on some Garabi Moxie. Very good, your greatness. I believe we can use this to resume expanding your empire now that you're here to guide us. Right you are. I should be able to find other types of moxie in the other domains too, so remind me later. Also, Commander. Yes, my lord? You haven't come across some giant, beefy, sloth-looking guy who takes himself too seriously since I've been gone, have you? No, my lord, I'm afraid not. Hmm. At any rate, send some scouts into the grobby domain to search for the area. He might be around it, and it has been ages since my last visit, so there's no telling what awaits us. Right away, my lord. While they're busy with that, I think it's time to expand my territory to make room for my brand spanking new empire. I can expand on land connected horizontally or vertically to my territory. Land over there next to that Zern barracks looks perfect. Let's expand on it by holding the interact button. Oh, just, uh, friggin expand there, I'll expand there. Wonderful, now comes the best part, building. Now that I have some empty territory, I can build stuff on it. I think it's time to get some more Zerms, so let's build a Zerm house. To do that, we need to select the new territory. Select the Zerm house and press the interact button to start building. Okay. Oh man, this is, oh. Oh boy. I hope I can handle the RTS aspects. <laughs> well, that was easy. Where's gym leader of all the... the gym? <laughs> he didn't give you a challenge. <laughs> Why do I have to press B to select? B to select is so uncomfortable. Very good. Commander Zerm Zerm. Yes, my lord. We should have more of your fellow Zerms coming in, so be ready. Understood. Now, what's next? My lord, if I may, I believe this might be a good time to explain the delicate balance between your empire's population and apple supply. Alright. See you when you get, when you get back, CJ. Or if you can't, uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Hi, Maple. Oh yeah, good point. This is quite complicated, so take a look at this. Alright, Zerm population. Behold the Empire's Zerm population. Idle Zerms versus total Zerms. Increasing total Zerms and calling idle Zerms. The Zerm population will change when you call, dis call, dismiss Zerms and build Zerm houses. Make sure you have enough Zerm houses and monitor your Zerms. Uh, apple supply. This is the Empire's apple supply. Available apples, total apple capacity. And increasing apple supply. Zerms and apples. Or carrion shrines that have Zerms in them increase the apple supply. 
Each Zerm in the Empire needs one apple, so make sure that there are apples available. Now that you've gotten the crash course, let's see how this all works. Let's build an Orcarian Shrine. To build one, let's first select an em the empty cell over there. Okay. Now select the Orcarian Shrine. Here you have the Orcarian Shrine. You need to call a Zerm to the Orcarian Shrine to increase the apple supply. Let's see this in action by actually building one. Okay. Very nice shrine, if I do say so myself. Guess I'll call a Zerm over here to run this Orcarian Shrine in order to increase our apple supply. You can do this with any structure that has Zerm slots, which are shown above the building. Okay, so this can have one Zerm. And increases my apples by how many? And would you look at that? The apple supply went up. Then increased apple supply, the Zerm houses, which haven't produced any Zerms yet, should start producing more Zerms. Speaking of Zerms, I should probably teach you about starvation and Zerm house shortages. Take a look at yet another fantastic presentation made by me. You want to make a goal to collect all the EV evolutions? I, dude, go right ahead. EV evolutions are great. You can actually, you know, breed EV now, so you can have more than one. Unlike, you know, OG generation. Even some of the other generations where it's like, oh hey, here's an Eevee. But absolutely no way to make more. Haha. <laughs> See, starvation and Zerm house shortages. The Zerms are starving. The Zerms will starve when there are more Zerms than apple supply. There's a Zerm house shortage. The Zerm house shortage happens when there are Zims without a home. Zerms will go poof if they are not assigned to a structure when they are starving or there is a Zerm house shortage. Keep an eye on your Zerm population and apple supply. Okay. With that out of the way, I think it's time we continue expanding my empire. But the question is, where? My lord, yes, Commander? If I may make a suggestion, why don't we continue expanding to the north into the Gurabi Domain? Our scouts just returned and discovered what appears to be a ruin of some sort. Perhaps it would be of some interest to you. That is of some interest to me, so that's exactly what I'll do. Onwards! Oh gee, I wonder if the uh, commander happens to be a little more intelligent. Anything else I can assign stuff to? That's still sealed. Okay, so our apple supply is fine, I guess, by the looks of things. It's not allowing me to build anything else, so I assume I'm still ultimately in tutorial mode. And can't do anything else. Okay. Uh, expand, please. Garabi Forge. Can't do anything with that. Oh, you just want me to fully expand all the way out here. Hmm, well this rune doesn't seem like much. Hard to tell what is, is uh, what it is for, so I'll just leave it alone for now. Since I've expanded this far out, I might as well get some defenses placed. The Zerm Barracks seems like a good idea, but I'll probably be needing more Zerms soon. Let's build another Zerm house on some of my new territory to get some more Zerms. Why, why wouldn't I just finish expanding out? Why wouldn't I just finish filling out this area? Like, look at all this. Look at all the space I've got! Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I, it's like, I find this highly inefficient for an RTS. <laughs> it upsets me. And why here? Why here? Why would I build it all the way out here? Why wouldn't I build it closer to home? It bothers me. It truly does. Oh yeah, the Zerm house isn't producing any enough Zerm, uh, Zerms yet. Let's get another Orcarian shrine built. Why would I? Be, why would I build the shrine? The 
The shrine is an important structure. Why would I build it as a blockade to my to my? It's gonna get destroyed, and it's going to bother me. I keep pressing the wrong button. Population good. Apple supply good. Good. Let's get some defenses up in this area. Yes, please. So, first build a Zerm barracks, which is great for defending against enemies on the ground. Okay. Last but not least, I think this place needs a Zerm outpost, which will defend my empire from flying enemies. This. Placement is so inefficient, and I despise it. I have to call some Zerms over. I hate the inefficiency. I really do. Excellent. I think this should keep my precious empire pretty well defended. My lord, it looks like we have some forces approaching your empire. What shall we do? Time to send them back to where they came from. Yes, my lord. To battle, my sisters. Oh, it's, it's a way. Leave my shrine alone! This is exactly what I mean by the inefficient placement. Ooh, that bothers me. Jeez, they just keep coming, don't they? It tells me we should get my empire in better shape before moving on. Let's get a few more structures set up. Okay, am I, am I allowed to... Am I allowed to pick now where I place things? Build two Zerm houses. No, I'm not. You're still going to make me play, place things where you want me to. Oh, I hate it. Uh, I cast repair. I cast repair. I cast repair. Hmm, looks like we're low on apple supply, but the good news is there's a nice-looking tree over there. Let's expand my empire on it and get some more tasty apples and then get back to the final touches of, to my empire in this area. Outpost. Excuse you. I hate that it's controlling my placement right now. I do. I really do. And a barracks. This placement is so inefficient. I know it's the tutorial, but oh my gosh. Your smelterness. My scouts have spotted who, uh, who must be the beefy, sloth-looking individual you were inquired about earlier. That looks like the guy. It's not every day I see someone else here. I don't like it. But my curiosity is piqued. I'm craving some mental stimulation, so let's go see what he wants. Hello. Greetings, little green one. Quite the mess you made in Gumbor. Well, I wouldn't say it was a mess, but it sure was satisfying. I can imagine. The Garabi Domain deserves every little bit of bad luck they, that falls on it. What makes you say that? Something has been happening to my people, and I suspect it has to do with the goings-on from within the Garabi Domain. Ah, gotcha. Or, wait. Maybe I don't. That doesn't explain why you're here. Let's start with that. I'm a private eye, you see. Excuse me? A private? It means detective, you fool. The name's Klaus. Detective Klaus. Oh. So what do you want from me? Straight to the point. I like that. I understand you're looking for Doma runes as well. You understand correctly. Then I guess you can say our interests are aligned. I wish to get deeper into the Garabi Domain, but without a Doma rune, I'm unable to get past a giant rune gate blocking the passage located over there. My sources tell me that a Doma rune is hidden within the Grizzler Mounds located over there. 
However, the barrier surrounding it is preventing me from getting in. After witnessing you in action in Gumbor and in battle earlier, I thought you and your Zerms might be able to assist. The rune over there was once known to be able to focus great power. Occupying the rune and calling your Zerms in there to channel their energy will likely be enough to take that barrier down. Sounds like a bit of a hassle, but consider it done. Appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, you never know what might happen once your Zerms get into that ruins. Might be wise to build up some more defenses in the area, just in case something happens. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, you don't say. What are those? Boop. From Zerms of the Fissure to... Hey. Buzz off. Cast repair. Was off. Cast repair again. Was off. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Is this an ambush? I must protect my Zerbies. Commander, we're on the defense. Yes, your greatness. Defend the ruins with your lives, sisters. What the heck? Get out of here. for that to finish charging, I guess. It's not letting me do anything else like more expanding. onto this at least. Not really sure what I gained from doing so, but I did so. Go away from my shrine. Excellent work. Looks like your Zerms were able to remove the barrier. It actually made me break a sweat. Quite the modest one, I see. You will be taking about what you did here for at least talking about what you did here for at least the next few weeks, I guess. As they should be. Yes, I suppose they should. However, it's probably best that you don't let your guard down for some time. I'd best be going back to HQ before making my way into the mountains. Perhaps I'll see you in there. You just might. However, you'll need to be on your guard. The tremors coming from the mounds have been increasing lately, and enemies will likely continue to attack your empire. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Very good. Until next time. Okay. Guess we'll just do what the big guy says and head into the Grizzler Mounds. Except I won't. I would like to continue expanding, please. Earth Shatterer, Noggin Breaker, Piston Breaker. Okay, let's see. Stomp on any baddies unfortunate enough to be below. Charge up and release to execute a high damage punch to the enemy's face. Charge the Earth Basher to send a wave of rocks at the enemy in front of Eve. Ooh, yes. Yes, I like the sounds of all of those. Nope. How dare you? To rebuild their friggin' houses? I don't even know what this did. I expanded to it, but... Buzz off! Okay, what do I 
doing in here? Upsy daisy. I can execute a double jump! Back off! No, 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 no! God friggin'. Oh, I hate you. I need to find a way to destroy these things. Stop attacking my sh I can't claim it because I'm not near it. Leave my sh alone! Time to... Ah! Uh, I don't have time to actually go in because I'm too busy fighting off all these things! I, this is why I hate this layout that I gave me. I expand anywhere else? Can I do anything else? Or have you literally just kind of boxed me in? I at least put a road there, which means I could probably put something there. So I'm aware that I'm under attack. Another apple supply. Why not? Can't expand there. I want to destroy these things. It's not giving me the option. And I feel like that's what I need to do to get the things to stop spawning. Because that seems to be about where they're spawning from. Yes, those symbols above that thing determine what's actually going on. And that makes enough sense. Expand. 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 I forgot to assign somebody for this. Falls off. You see, I'm busy. I mean, I suppose I need something to defend my home terrain while I'm at it. Oh, maybe not. Uh, there's a house shortage apparently. I can't expand any further. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's because they managed to destroy another set of houses. God dang it. Buzz off. Is 
This combat stuff better not actually continue while I'm doing other things. stream Pokemon again? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that you're... My bad. Um, I stream Pokemon on Mondays. That's why I have it titled as Pokemondays. So I've got a double jump now. I've got a ground attack. You hear that? Whoa! Holy hell, turn back, turn back, pump the legs! Guessing I just let him go above me. Assuming this trial will let me through the other side. I haven't checked on the... Don't get hit. Oh boy. Get it. One go. Nice. And again, I keep forgetting to use my smelter blade powers.
Well, those things are just immune. can use the charge jump in tandem with the double jump. Very nice. supposed to find a different door somewhere. Oh, probably through there. I can't break that door, so someone else is going to have to do it for me. I thought. than one. Well, what was that for then? Seriously, what is that for? to jump and I failed.
Oh right, I forgot I can fall slightly faster. Let me up. Oh, that's so unfair! Oh boy. can just ground pound that. Up, up, up. Ooh. I did it. Ah. That was a little stressful. time to that. weird. Don't know what damaged me there. Oh, it's falling ceiling spike. You hit him. Ow. There's an apple core down there, I need that. How do I get to it? I seriously just have to outrace the worm from here. And up we go. Neat. <clears throat> Do we get a boss fight anytime soon? Hmm. 
There we go. Guess that opened that up. There's a path here, though. Oh, no. It's just a way back after I do that. challenge do I have this time? Don't get hit. Okay. You really like this challenge, don't you? easy. Shoot. <laughs> that was mostly just stage traversal. I forgot I haven't even tried my charge up punch yet. Well, that worked fantastically. Aside from the part where I got hit. Ooh! that other is basically training for that. Where are those other apple cores, though? Huh? No, oh, hi. Oh, okay. Doodly. I don't exactly have room to jump over him. Well, maybe I don't take contact damage, I'm just an idiot. I am just an idiot. Take contact damage. That is fantastic news. Hmm. 
Ah, there you are. So, you finally made it. I must admit, it took you longer than I expected. That's some sass you have. Do you know what we've been through? Yes, actually. How do you think I got here? Hmm, good point. Thought maybe you did your up here out of thin air thing again. Anyways, what's, uh, what's going on here? I was tracking one of the larger creatures that I imagine you have seen to, uh, seen to, and it led me here. I'm not sure what lies beyond here, but it seems like the creatures avoid this chamber in particular. I suspect it has something, or it has to do with this unusual object here that seems to give off a somewhat tantalizing aroma. Yet the smaller ones, and even the large ones, seem repulsed by it. Perhaps we could use it. You mean that putrid smell that resembles a Leander sandwich that has been left to sit out in the hot sun for two weeks and covered in mayonnaise? That very one. Takes me back to a time when I was much younger and not as wise. Not sure if we had the same childhood, but whatever. I'm gonna break this open and see if there's something inside. Nope, nothing in there, apparently, except a bunch of guck. And now I'm covered in it. Perhaps that, uh, perhaps that it could offer you some protection. The creatures here really don't seem to like the scent. As long as they keep off of me. Indeed. At any rate, I was hoping to discover one of the Doma runes here. These runes would allow me to venture deeper into the three domains. You can likely venture a bit deeper than I can now, so go on ahead and see what you can find. I won't be here when you get back, but if you do indeed find one of the runes here, I'm sure we'll see each other again. Let's continue trying to find how to help my people. Farewell. Oh, you mean one of the ones that attacked me? And off he goes. Yeah, go away. Shoo. I don't like you. Holy crap, that really worked. Wish we'd found this stuff sooner. At any rate, we got a Doma rune. Oh, why the hell are we floating now here? Looks like we're going right up through that hole. Oh, do I get a boss fight now? Where were the other two apple cores? Got all the trials and the moxie deposits, but... Where were those apple cores? I need those. Commander Zerma! Yes, my lord. Returned from the Grizzler Mounds with the Doma Rune. Most impressive, your greenness. I believe your newly acquired Doma Rune, you can now switch your attack to a Garubi attack. Garabi attack. Apparently, we're going swimming. Well, gonna get burnt. <laughs> All right, you go. You go enjoy your time at the pool. Aside from the getting burnt, wear, wear waterproof sunscreen, I guess. Hello there, Zero. How you doing? Good to see you. Or hear from you, I guess. <laughs> but yes, you go enjoy yourself, Seishi. You're doing terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. This should allow you to remove Gurabi Rocks and Gurabi Rune Gates that are level 1. I hope that this information will be useful to you, my lord. Yes, it will! As I gather more Doma Runes, I should be able to destroy higher level ones, too. Yes, my lord. Same goes for the other domains as well. Very good, Commander. I'm just this newfound power on this. Tiny Rock over there! Oh no, I'm destroying all of them. You will not stop me. Obtaining Doma Runes gives Smelter new and stronger attacks. By changing elements, Smelter can break different types of objects in the Rumbly Lands and enjoy different bonuses. Additional Doma Runes will make Smelter's elemental attacks stronger. Uh, some elements are stronger or weaker against other elements. This will give both Smelter's attacks and his Zerm's attacks advantages on enemies from different domains. Beautiful. Now, how do I... Oh, yes, I can quite literally attack it. Amazing power, my lord. 
If you remove the Garubi room gate over there, I will prepare the forces to move deeper into the Garubi domain. Oh no! No, 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 we're clearing this up. We're, we're expanding my territory as much as possible. Yeah, because that happens. Then I have to repair my sh- and I get sick of it. I'm breaking literally every structure that they have. This entire territory will be mine, and only mine. And then they won't have anywhere to come from to keep attacking me. Stop attacking my stuff, I need it. can't I expand there? Why can't I expand? Oh, because you're locking me into the controls. God dang it. Thank you, my lord. I'll get the troops ready and wait for your arrival. Your Excellence, I've just received word that we have gained access to the Arumagu, Shockward, and Villainos. Wonderful news. Your Zerms never cease to amaze me. We aim to please, my lord. Consider me pleased. I'm also happy to report that we've confirmed the presence of two more Doma Stones. Trimming the Aramagu Doma Stone should manage to remove that barrier blocking your path to the Aramagu Domain. As for the Nutoro Doma Stone, we sense it, but we're still not quite sure where inside Velenos it is located. However, I believe it will have the same effect if you find it. I guess I should pay both of them a visit then. This is so exciting. Getting three those Doma Stones should really make my whole conquest, or er, our quest, to find out and go much more smoothly. Finally, you're gonna let me expand again. Jeez. I'll build there, and there, and there, and I'm gonna take this. And I'll build there. Flex this X. Uh, flex this now sends projectiles back at enemies. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I thought that was gonna do something to me. That's a blessing. Smelt healing plus 15%. Nice. Uh. Okay, I'll expand there. And there. And of course there as well. And also here. And here. I really want to destroy that rock. I don't like that it's there, but it's level 3. I can't hurt it yet. Okay. Let's go with some Zerms. And then... And some apples. And then... Oh, wait. I need to assign somebody to that. Oh, I built a thing by accident. Well, that's fine. Something to help defend the territories. Got more than enough apples, I just need more Zerms. Barracks. A smelter to move instantly to other activated altars.
I did not mean to put a house here. I shall sell- wait. Is there a villa? Oh, I can upgrade stuff. Not yet, but I can. I wanted to put a... I was originally going to put a barracks there, but uh, you know what? More air control sounds good. Is there anywhere else I could expand on this map? I don't wish I could expand here as well, but... Say la vie! Oh wait. Aha! Uh -huh, I can! I can expand here. And then... Uh, I believe houses. Wait. And barracks. We are perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh, didn't realize I was missing some soldiers. Am I missing anyone from any other structures that I've got around here? Everything seems good. Beautiful. That allows me to re-enter a dungeon. I'm currently missing an apple core and a token there. So, Aramagu, Shock Ward, or Velinos. So connected to the various trials throughout the Rumbly Lands can be used to instantly travel to any trials even Smelter have found. Fair enough. Well, let us continue! Grubby's forces run on a diet of mixed sediment and leafy greens. Me. First time, eh? Looks like this is your first time here. Normally, Eve is able to switch between different elements, but this area is teeming with suppressive elemental energy. Maybe you can find a domestone in this area that will remove the suppressive energy and let you use of the other elements in your next visit. Wait. It took away my powers. I can't even use my rock powers. Oh no. Oh good, Naramagu Forge. I'm sure we can take advantage of this situation. Let's see what it makes for us. Uh, I don't know, it looks kind of painful. Oh? Did I get lightning powers? Whip whap. Uh, yes, yes I did. Ish out up to three hit combo with a mid-range whip attack. Oh. Oh, so I get different power sets depending on what- Ooh. Ooh. I like the sound of this. This is gonna be perfect for attacking baddies without getting too close. You're darn right. Oh. Oh, I like this. He'll, he'll be shocked to see that. I was shocked to see that. Hey, get off me. Okay, so being in water with an electric whip does not hurt me. That's good. Ugh. Ow, I keep... I keep walking into the attack. Trying to hit it, but I guess I can't reach it. I also don't have a double jump at the moment. Eh. Wait, how do I get up there? No! If 
Clearly I'm missing something. Ow. Help. I have a different dash than I did before. I don't have a charge attack. Am I... Am I not just not supposed to be here? At all? Oh wait. I'm dumb, it's green, I can interact with it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so if I was less dumb, this would be even, this would be even better. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. I wonder. No, I can't quite. Yeah, I can't quite get enough height out of it to get up there. Shoot! Oh? I love this game. I have not made it apparent at the moment. I love this game. Ah, they do not like to be touched. Get off me. Oop. No, I'm going to die. Oh, wait. I made it. Got a checkpoint. Woo. This is, this game is crazy. Get off. Let go. power I have so far is the whip. Which I absolutely love. But it has showed me other powers that I just natively had that I didn't really have anything to use with before. Well, that's just great. Looks like those gross things crawling all over that forge are draining all its power. Let's get rid of them. That's the plan. Get off. Disgusting. I think some of their fleshy bits got on me. Anyway, it looks like this one's up and running now. What do I get? What do I get? Over we go. Eve can now jump long distances by dashing then jumping. Ooh, so I actually get a full dash jump. I get to keep my momentum with it. Wow, I'm feeling all tingly now. Time to try some of these new moves. Wait, is that basically the screw attack? Oh man, that's cool. A little hard to control though. Ooh. And 
I can turn it into a wall jump. Buffering Rage, how you doing? Yeah, no, so far, from what I have managed to actually, what I have played of this game, I am absolutely terrible at it. <laughs> no, this game so far is amazing. Like, it feels a little limited at, in the beginning, but as soon as you start unlocking stuff, it really starts opening up. Like, I don't have the ability to use my other element at the moment, but you start out with, like, Earth-related powers. This area has restricted me from using my Earth-related powers, but has given me Lightning-related powers and a lot more mobility. And I immediately messed that up. God dang it, why am I so terrible? Now I don't want to fall. Oh, come on! Yeah, why am I so bad? Uh, I suppose it's just my fate. Always being bad at things that I really enjoy. they can cling to my face. Played either of the Ori games. Uh, yes, I have actually. I have played them both. Not on stream, but I have played them both to completion. I love them. Uh, well, I'll admit I liked the second game better than the first one. As much as I liked the first one, I will admit the, uh, don't get hit. Great. Um, the fact that it, the first one was much more of a precision platformer, which I am not good at. Dang it. I'm not good at precision platformers. Kind of dampened my experience. Shoot. I should have waited a little bit. I'm too impatient. <laughs> there goes my impatience again. I keep thinking it's going to go off like a second before I do that. Probably your favorite side scrollers. The second one is much better. The games have beautiful visuals and beautiful music. Oh, they do. They really do. And again, I am an idiot. Uh, I absolutely agree that I enjoyed the second one more than the first one. Not just because the second one became a little more combat oriented. I mean, that definitely does help, in my opinion. God dang it. But, um... Because, again, like, the first one is is such a precision platformer, and I'm... You think I'm bad at platformers? Wait until you see how bad I am at precision platformers. Ugh. Oh, I'm 
Oh, come on. I <laughs> timed that so poorly. Ah! That's what I get for being impatient. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'll get it eventually. In about 500 years. I wanted to do the dash job. But I guess I messed up the input timing. No! Great precision paddle platform platformers battle block theater. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a precision platformer. It's just not nearly as demanding as some other precision platform. What am I doing? I'm, am I trying to get myself hit again? my left bumper doesn't like me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah, I landed on the wrong platform. this to me. Oh, Lord. Oh. Hold on a second. I think my AC isn't running because it is super hot. I'm gonna make sure that it's turned on. It's 82 in my apartment right now. Oh, lord. I had to manually turn off and on again my AC. Now it's running. Oh, lord. I highly doubt it's going to help my performance at all, but at least I won't be quite as uncomfortable. live with the heat. Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay, I did it. Whoa, finally. Done. Huh. I usually keep it down to like 72, 73 in my apartment. But for some reason it decided not to kick off. I've just been sitting here, it's been just getting warmer and warmer and I'm like, okay, something ain't right. That explains why it ain't right. Oh, come on. You can't do this to me. I'm not smart enough to handle these types of puzzles and traps. See what I mean? Got myself hit for no good reason. 
go. Got an apple core. Please offer me. Oh. Ooh, what is this? This must be the last one in this area. Uh, it, it, is it a dodge? It looks like a dodge. A dodge would be great right now. Vultra Shift. You can instantly teleport short distances forward or backward while on the ground. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Probably use this for evading attacks or maybe even getting past some electrified barriers. Uh, yeah, we're going with, uh, a little bit of both. Ah, uh, it's got a cooldown, though. Get back here. The only other drawback to it is that it did say that I needed to be on the ground. <laughs> no, I... D Missed. was a bad idea to come here. Somebody help get these disgusting things away from me before I destroy them myself. Um, why don't you just destroy them yourself? Make my life easier. Sheesh. So give me that. There you go. Well. Those were some gorgeous moves. The last time I saw anyone move like that was... Oh? Sweet Buns, is that you? I almost didn't recognize you wrapped around the other female here. Damzella? What in the hell are you doing here? Uh, well, you see, my sister and I got into a bit of a disagreement shortly after your disappearance. Before I knew it, she cast me out like you and took the Obsidia throne. I mean, what are you doing here? in the Aramagu Shock Ward. Ah, well, I heard word that someone was rampaging through Goombor and guessed it was you. I thought you might eventually head in the search for Edomisto. You guessed correctly. Since my exile, if I'm not as strong as I used to be and thought if I helped you, you might be able to help me. I'm pretty sure we can make a convincing argument for Shinzella letting me back in. By the way, who's this tasteful little specimen anyways? Are you too serious? What? This is just Eve. She's helping me get my power back to find her boy. How romantic. In that case, let me help you too. You would do that? For you? Of course. It seems tangled up there pretty tight, but destroying those Velpa sacks should help... should make the Velpa vine loosen its grip on the stone. If you take those sacks out, I can remove the barrier protecting this one. <sighs> you got yourself a deal. Right, right here. Is it actually destroyed? Looks like it just kind of flattened it. It doesn't look destroyed. Oh, yeah, no, there we go. And there you go. 
be able to use that nice, big, and strong green hand of yours to smelt it. Don't talk to me like that. Got it. Let's go, Eve. Thanks, Demzella. Is he around? Hopefully not. And just where do you think you're off to, my little green man? Uh, well, you see... I know you get out of here in no time. You wait right there. This won't take but a moment. And here you are. A lovely portal that will lead you right out of here. You shouldn't have. We'll get out of here and I'll have my forces continue making their way deeper into the Arumagu domain. Wonderful. Before I was kicked out, I managed to hide one of the Arumagadoma runes near our old secret little spot in Tentra. You remember it, don't you? Unfortunately. But I guess that means we'll swing by Tantra. Great. Once you find a way into Tantra, I'll meet you there to help you get it. See you then. <sighs> so I guess we're going to be stuck in this mess together. Crazy things loves make, love makes us do, am I right? Give up everything. Sleepless nights. Get banished too and escape out of the darkest depth of a vast and violently unstable con ca uh, cavernous world and into an arguably violent and equally frightening place called the Rumbly Lands. Anywho, let's get through that portal and see where this leads us. Okay, there's still an apple core here. And two more trials that I missed somehow. Oh, someone with a glass of wine? So, my dear sister, it seems like you simply will not just stay away. Let's see if you can make it this far. Crushes wine glass. That's cliche. Takes a Grizzler 133 years to reach its full size and eventually become the long-feared Queen Grizzla. Greetings, my lord. Ah, Lieutenant Zermexia. So you've returned. You don't sound too excited to see me, Lieutenant. Don't be silly. I'm bursting with excitement, old great one. I heard your spectac I heard of your spectacular return, so here I am. What are your orders? Well, with this barrier down, I think we need to make our way to Tantra. A reunion. Wonderful. Very well, my lord. The ships will be waiting for you. Indeed. Expanding. Uh. Continuing to expand. Give me that. What do we get? Whip Whap EX. It showed a four hit combo with a mid range whip attack. Oh, and it looks like it has a different style to the finish as well. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Ah, you're here already. The troops are at your disposal, my lord. That is excellent news, lieutenant. So that means we can make our way to Tantra. Well, my lord, unfortunately, there's the issue of this barrier. Our troops here believe they can remove the barrier, but they'll need to channel energy from the Towers of Ren located nearby. We need your assistance in occupying and taking control of the towers. The first one is located to the north, and the other is located to the southeast. After they've been occupied, the energy orbs scattered around these parts need to be collected and brought to each tower until the channeling ritual is finished. You should be able to carry them by simply approaching them and making your way to each tower. Once we've gathered enough energy, we should be able to blast down that barrier. Sounds easy enough. Uh, I'll start off by getting control of those towers, so just hang tight, Lieutenant. Very well. Back off at once. By the way, is my is any of my other stuff under attack? No, we good. We good here. Okay, let's see. First things first. Uh, I'm gonna need more apples. And we'll uh, 
uh, someone comes over here to occupy more apples. I don't know where they're coming from. God, they're coming from all the way over there, really? I'll need to construct another home. And we'll construct our ground troops. to feed them right away. So we're going to go with more apples. Because apples are very, very important. Stop breaking my stuff. I need my stuff. Okay. Taking over one of those. And now two. My lord, now that the Towers of Ren are occupied, my Zerms will begin the ritual. Please keep the towers charged and protected. Got it. Back off at once. Back off! Go away! Stop attacking all of my structures! I need them! I also forgot to expand onto that, apparently. I get up the wall. Dashing into a wall while dashing causes Eve to travel up the wall. I'm going to have to experiment with that. Otherwise, I have no idea what it's talking about. my tower. Someone like you, this is a surprise. Can you repair the broken tower? Can you repair the broken tower so that my troops can back get back to channeling the ritual? Yes. God dang it. Frag off. are back up. Get back to channeling. Grab this orb. And fly over this. We'll grab this orb. Put that one there. We're gonna grab this orb. Put that one there. 
We grab this orb. Bring it over here. Hi, Maple. We grab this orb. Over there. Really need to charge this dude. Oh, come on. Get away from my stuff. There's too much to do. to keep this up for. Ah, am I actually done? That'd be great. As expected, the barrier has been removed, my lord. Wonderful. This means I can head into Tantra and maybe find one of my Doma runes. It sure does, my lord. I hope you find it. Await my return. You bet. Alright, time to repair all of my shit. And apparently replace some of my structures. Uh, more apples, if you please. Back off. Yes, I know my structures are under attack. That's why I said feck off. As I have more apples, I shall also have more zerns. And I shall expand upon this territory. I'll smelter to move, instantly to other activated. Okay. Increases zerma capacity by 10. Oh, I need more apples. Hold up. Deconstruct the heck out of that. And more apples. Also, I forgot to assign apples. I'm still negative one. Oh, I can expand here. Uh, even more apples! I need a surprisingly large amount of apples. Where's those troops gonna come from? I can't get to that yet. It's unfortunate that non non assigned Zerms don't attack. There's a Zerm shortage, what do you mean? Did I lose a house somewhere? Did I lose a house somewhere? Where? Right, get back off, that's my apples. Uh, where's this house shortage? Why? Why is there house shortage? Uh, fine. Not just for a thing of apples. here. And now I'm short on apples. I'm so confused. Apparently they are starving. 
No, I'm just gonna go in so that I can take care of this problem. And then I'll worry about it when I can expand more. I can now change different elements. Sweet. So now I can do my earth powers. Ooh, you're quick, aren't you? the other element. Nothing major. I chain... I can change midair. Not that there's much benefit to it. see if it hits the that's the water or the hole of the water gets electrocuted and it just seems to be invulnerable otherwise the other direction.
Oh no, I can hit it. It's just difficult. I suppose, though, if I had to make an excuse, thinking back on it, for living with the heat, as it were, uh, I'm a summer kid. So, I'm just used to higher temperatures. All that, and I lived in Nebraska. Nebraska can get some pretty hot summers as well. Hey, Koi Donut, it's going pretty good. How about you? Very much enjoying this game. It has switched me to electricity. Defeat all enemies. Okay. I'm going to die. That was new. I've never seen those. It's going great playing Destiny. I saw you were on, so I decided to pop it and say hi. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, though. these first. I have less area of effect to worry about while I'm trying to fight these.
going to die. Well, I at least got one of those guys. Oh, you gaw. Oh. It is fun. I don't mistake the fact that I'm bad at it for, for, for anything. It is really fun. It's also really goofy. Like, it is one of those games that thankfully doesn't take itself too seriously. Which is always nice. At least in my opinion. Oh, come on. Pontiff and the Dancer finally! Nice! I'll say I've been trying to keep an eye out for when your streams happen as well, but I... I think I'm not getting the alerts for some reason, because I... It's looked like you haven't streamed in a while. At least according to what, you know, my alerts tell me. dying again. Please tell me I just have to kill that dude and then it's over. You know what? His pattern seems to be pretty exact. You didn't stream Monday or Tuesday. Uh, fair enough, but I didn't see any announcements on... Uh, I didn't see any announcements yesterday either. Oh, thank God I'm done. I did it. Ugh. Hey Maple, how you doing? You doing good? Oh, and I have my rock powers back. Wait, I didn't want to go that way yet. Well, I hope that thing comes back. That's one of the very interesting things about this game, though, as well, is, like, I actually have multiple elements that I can use, which determine how my powers function. Like, rock form, I currently have a double jump. But I lose my momentum when I try to jet, when I try to dash jump. But in electricity, it's a bit of the opposite. I don't have a double jump, but I basically get a dash jump. No mid-air dash, though, so far. Also, I get like a power jump. Oop, now I've messed that up immediately. 
Yeah, uh... I'll have to double check what's going on with it, because, again, it didn't alert me at all. Although, what time did you stream? Because maybe you were streaming at a time that I was, and so... I don't know, that might have been it. And I don't know when you ended, so... Oh, friggin' heck. I'm not good at switching elements yet. Doesn't help that there's this ceiling here. I guess there's not really much to do there any in that spot anyways. So I guess I'll just move on. Secrets! Secrets! It's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Which means I think... Yeah, Twitch do be broken sometimes. I think 8 p.m. Central is... 7 p.m. Uh, mountain Time, which is my time zone. No, wait. No. 8... No, yeah, no, it'd be 7, because I'm, I'm an hour before, I think is the term. Technology? K Kaiser Blitz. Okay. Never seen anything like this before. What are these weird scribbles? Hmm. This looks like it could be useful later, so let's keep a lookout for any others. But if it is true that it was 7 my time, I was already an hour into my stream. And I stream for about four hours, so if you stream for any less than three hours, then yeah, I unfortunately would have missed it entirely because of my own stream. My bad. get to that other zone. Yeah, that makes sense. No worries. I mean, I'm gonna worry about it. I like to be I like to be helpful. <laughs> yeah, no, it never came back. Oh, and I apparently I needed it. Oh, it's because they have electric powers and I'm being electrocuted to death. Oh, well, that's just great. Give me that. It hit 53 followers tonight. Nice! So you, you just gotta get that viewer count up, or are you gonna be able to apply for affiliate? There's nothing up here. It tricked me.
You have a viewer account. You should be able to apply now. Nice. Congratulations. straight up for some reason. Yeah, you can kind of tell which power is better for combat as well in this game. Like, the lightning one is great, it really is. It's got nice mobility, utility, etc, etc. But for just doing damage, it's this one. Hands down. I'm very curious about the what the other power is going to be like, though. I know there's more. Ooh. Help if I didn't. Make an idiot of myself. Dang it. <laughs> Looks kind of like Hollow Knight. I mean, some of them do kind of look like Hollow Knight enemies. destroy that. I haven't tried yet. Yes, I can. Well, that makes my life easier. climb back up when I inevitably screw this up. Well, shoot. Apparently I do end up losing all my momentum eventually. So I wonder if I can even make it over there with... Oh, yes I can. Oh, there was nothing over here anyway. Well, shoot. That was a bit of a waste. Wait. I didn't even have to go about it the way they wanted me to. Wow. If I only had a brain. Aha! Secrets! Give me that. Can I make that? 
I don't know if I can make that. I can almost make that. No, I'm tr trying to be as pixel perfect as possible. Oh, no. There's nothing up there. Rip. Eh. Ooh, do I finally get a boss fight? Hurt to magic. <laughs> Found you. Well, if it isn't hurt to magic, well, what the hell do you want? Lady Shinzella sent me to take care of you. Aw, oh, shucks. You didn't have to do that. I'm flattered. It means she wants me to destroy you. Ah, a double entendre, eh? She wants you dead if you plan to stick your noseless face where it doesn't belong. So she sent you? Exactly. You think I can't take you on? Nope, not in a million years. But you're welcome to try. Get ready for a beating, you motherless excuse for an angel. Aha. Oh? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm glad to see you made it all the way here. D Damzella, you're here? Hmm? I'm standing here, aren't I? Ugh, no matter. I'll just take you both on. Prepare yourselves to get fully destroyed. Ha 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 Alright, and I have a bo What the? He just keeps getting smaller and smaller, doesn't he? That's not something you have to worry about. Is it... is it smelly poo? Huh? Oh, nothing. Anyways, what the hell happened here? Last time I was here, there was an entire city here. Oh, Shinzilla and I got in a little scuffle during our one of our arguments. What do you mean, little? This whole place has been blasted out of existence! Well, I must admit, it did get a bit heated. But enough about that. Let's get that Doma rune free, shall we? So, while he was busy monologuing, she did a thing and absolutely destroyed him. Well, so much for actually having a boss fight. Here it is. Look at you getting so strong. Damn straight. There are only a couple of Aramagu Duma runes left. That's right. My sister should have the last two in her possession, so I think it's time we paid her a visit. Sounds good. I'll be sending my forces towards that direction once we're out of here. Fantastic. I'll make my way there as well. So... Boss fight in the future, maybe? Question mark? Hi, Maple. Hi. Hi. Well done on furthering your conquest, my lord. Thank you kindly. Seems we'll be able to get my forces deeper into Aramagu once I get those rune gates out of the way. Yes, my lord. I will move into that I will move to that direction once you have cleared the way. Looks like you'll need to call upon the power of the Aramagu and Guraba uh Gurabi domains to get through. I shouldn't be too long, just hang here for a bit. Um I'm getting this first though. What did I get? Voltra Shift Air Style. Oh, I can now do an air dash. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, I need to... How do I switch? There we go. Yes, I'm aware of the Zerm House shortages. Give me a moment. I'm working on it. Wait, no. There's not a house shortage, there's an apple shortage. I need more apples.
More apples. That's the Tantra Crater where I just was. Not powerful enough to claim that. Now what shall I put here? I guess more Zerma houses. I mean, it makes sense, at least. Are there any level 2 structures out here? No? Well, dang. I guess I'm off in this direction, then. Into Velenus. Which should get me another new power! Information about Smelter in the glossary located in the pause menu. Okay. First time, eh? Looks like this is your first time here. Normally, he was able to switch between. Yes, I know. So, back to base form with no powers. But what shall I gain here? Here we are at the doorstep of the Great Temple of Valenos. I've actually never been inside before. It's supposed to be some sort of metaphorical dam suppressing energy from the Undershell, which is supposed to be quite dangerous. But fear not, the Great Smelter is here, so you'll be just fine. I hope. Anyways, Commander Zerma was saying they sensed a Domestone in here, but the question is, where? Also, they mentioned they gained access, but this damn, damn door is shut. Oh, well, never mind. Now it isn't. Oh, I guess they were telling the truth. In we go. In I go, indeed. Looks like they have their very own forges here, too. According to the ancient texts that I've never read before, these are powered using energy from the Undershell, a place which exists under this reality. Beats me what that means, but I guess the silly priests from this temple figured out how to use it, apparently. I wonder what'll happen if we stand on it. Uh, I love the game. Or not game. Fizzy face. My eyes are open. Stop closing my eyes. Don't make me go turn the light on. I'm gonna go turn the light on. New skills unlocked. Blaster from down under. Well, I'll figure that out in a sec because I'm gonna turn the light on so that Fizzy face can recognize my face. <sighs> Otherwise it makes me look like I'm falling asleep. And I'm not. Nutoro. Blaster from down under. Eve fires bursts of Nutoro energy. Ooh. Would you look at that? Seems like the energy from the Undershell is flowing to your arm. Let's keep looking for that Doma Stone, and maybe we'll find more of these along the way. I basically have a Mega Buster, and I couldn't be happier if you paid me right now. No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe bad at using it, but I'm still very happy for having it. I'm hoping I get a charge attack out of it, too. That'd be really nice. My 
am stuck with this at the moment. Dang it, I missed. I don't want to miss. Nice. So I opened it, but I can't quite get to it. Jeez. You back off. Also, that is a fish. Why is there a fish? Assume I'm gaining something over this way that I can take advantage of. What does this forge give me? Majestic wings! Let's see if to glide through the air and use vertical airstreams to lift her and smelt her higher. Huh? What in the flim flam was that noise? Find a way out so we can check. Oh ho 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 ho! Yeah, that's cool. All right, time to get destroyed. <laughs> but what challenge shall I have? Let me guess, don't get, yeah, don't get hit. I should have stopped. Oh well, at least I get my health back. Unless I started at full health here, which also wouldn't make sense because it wouldn't matter anyways. Ooh. Dang it! That one's gonna be tough. No idea how nervous I am right now. Uh, I'm not usually good at these kinds of things. God dang it. I should have just gone. You love the narration. I do too. Oh. Foo. I went up too soon. See, it wants me to try and cross to the side first. Good lord. Ugh, 
It just wants to keep me as stressed as it possibly can, doesn't it? Okay. Almost there. Just don't choke. Woo! Did it! This metaphorical dam is completely flooded. It's like the energy seeping up from below. Something tells me we shouldn't go for a swim in this stuff. Let's try gliding over to that edge there. Yeah, no, no duh. Ugh. There we go, got my health back. Even though I'm probably going to do exceptionally bad at it. This is probably going to be my favorite power out of all of them. Stop sending ghost fish at me. Don't want it. Stop. Let me out. Sick of these ghost fish! <sighs> Nobody likes ghost fish. Wait a second. Oh wait, no, I don't have access to my electric powers. I was gonna say, maybe I can pass through that. But I can't use my powers. So I can't find out. Ooh, secrets! Just gotta go quick because there's ghost fish. Ghost fish suck. If that wasn't obvious. What in the world is that? Goodness, this place is a mess. Who the hell cleans here? Maybe I should get some Zerbs here to t in here to tidy up. I heard this place was used to house special relics used by the priests. I bet my right wing that up there is one of those relics. It seems to be giving off some strange energy. Might be a bad idea, but let's go try to smelt it. I'm going to guess it's going to be a bad idea because it's going to spawn some sort of boss. And I'm at low health. Whoa. That's weird. What the hell just happened? Where the hell are we? Who's my mother? Okay, Smelter, just calm down. This is what the Undershell actually is? Let's have a look around. Did I just go into the past or something? There's a hole there. Can I make it to that hole? I don't think I can make it to that hole. Can't make it to that hole. Well, at least no more ghost fish. Okay, can't go that way. Yet. Not that it would really do much aside from giving me a shortcut. Ooh, and a forge. Holy guacamole! They really wanted to hide this one away. Might be dangerous. Hurry up and get your now green behind up on that platform so I can find out. It's probably fine, just do it. <laughs> Maybe a power to, like, phase through things? Phase out, yes! You can temporarily pass through certain objects, 
and avoid enemy attacks and projectiles. Cannot attack while using phase out. Can you feel that? It's like my non-existent eyebrows are being pulled somewhere. Let's find a way out of here. You're right, you don't have eyebrows. So does it just... Okay, it lasts a very short duration. That R was supposed to press and hold. Nope. It lasts a very short duration, but could be handy. Yes, health, give. Although... There was a way that I couldn't go before that uh, needed this power. Kind of want to go that way. Yes, a trial. I'm going to have to go back through some of the other areas eventually, do the rest of the trials and such. Don't get hit. I will do my best. But I will probably get hit. I'll probably get hit a lot. I think it's mostly just a case of be quick to avoid the fish. Oh my god. I get it probably wants me to be quick, but at the same time, it's like if I don't, they're all just gonna catch up to me. I really can't be dealing with them. There's too many! <laughs> uh. Hi, Maple. Hi, baby. All right, now where am I? Oh, I'm back here. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay, here's my cat. Well, I hope they're not, uh... I hope they're not too upset by that. Maple is very chatty. Ooh. I found another piece of the Kaiser Blitz. I'm assuming this is a structure I can build if I manage to get all the blueprints. Ah, uh, yes. Happy until I destroy you all! Just wondering where the cat is. Fair enough. A 
Hello, Mido. How you doing? I don't... I know you weren't here earlier, but uh, as you can likely tell, this is, this is not the uh, game originally spoken of. But that is also because when I went to try and test Forge to... Or Forgone, not Forge. Um, to... For getting that to play and stream and all whatnot. It did not wish to behave. Did not play nice with OBS, so I ended up picking this game instead, and I'm not entirely sure if I regret if I have any regrets towards that, because this game is super fun. secret door. Hi, Maple. How you doing? Is that so? Keep catching my head on the friggin' ceiling there. Okay, right, there we go. And did it. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. But I did it. Don't get spotted. Oh boy. Easy enough. <laughs> nice, clean, and first try. Possibly a way to go up. Hello there! Oh, great listener of Valenos. Uh, you don't have to be named Cicero by any chance, do you? Uh, please hear my plea. By Hector's grace, I haven't had a visitor in ages. Ah, uh, we were just passing through. Uh, I imagine you saw frail little old me hobbling about here and decided to come say hello. Uh, well, not exactly. What? 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 You know, you haven't done anything for me to be able to turn on the cat cam all stream. All stream. It's your fault. It's your fault nobody gets to see the cat cam turned on right now. 
Yeah, it's on you. I'm blaming you. You don't stick around. Oh, you've just made my day. Happiness has been lost to me since my sweet, adorable grandson, Zelato, disappeared. Zelato? Might just be a coincidence, but I knew another of your kind who went by Zelato. But there was nothing sweet or adorable about that pain in the... Then no doubt your Zelato and my Zelato are not the same. That boy would not even scratch a baby grizzler. You see, I'm making my pilgrimage throughout the Not Notoro domain, asking for the gods' blessings. Yes, I do have a cat cam, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. If I can get the angle correct... Ha, 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 ha. I win. She decided to lay on the floor. You s Uh, I read that one. I need to light those torches to get behind this big stone slab here to leave an offering, but jumping that high in my old age isn't an easy feat. Would you two be so kind to help an old cat out? Well, that's one. Up, up, and away. Mm, that's two. <laughs> and uh, that's three. Oh. What, did you sense that the camera was looking at you, so you decided to run away? Come on. There we go. Yep, everybody can see you, and they love you. Why is it? Why is it? Why? 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 Oh no! Kick! 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 Kick, kick, kick. You good? Before anyone asks, I play fight with her all the time, so... It's not like she's actually mad. It's like that did something, but what do I do with this? Hey, come down here and help me figure what the, out what this does. Oh, I know what it does. Can't go that way. Not yet, anyways. I assume I can't go this way? No, I can't. Whoosh! Ooh, what's that? Well, would you look at that! Who'd have thought this would be here? Statue of Shakar, one of the deities of the Undershell. If Zelly could see this now. Say, it looks like something is clutched between its teeth. If you have something to knock it down? Well, I can shoot it. <laughs> Look at that precious relic. The things to think something like this would be hidden away in this great statue here. Luckily for us, it's exactly what we were coming for. It's one of the do one of my doma stones. Is it now? Well, that's good to hear. I don't get much use for it myself, so it's all yours. Mine. Okay, bye, Maple. What? 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 It's not bedtime. And you have food and water. I gave you all those things. Nobody has saved up enough points to redeem a brush in for you. I might actually potentially reduce the amount of channel points, maple leaves, for, uh, 
for that redeem. So then maybe you can get more brushings. But it's still only like once per stream. Okay? What? You want up? Come here. Make me pick you up. Okay. Lay down. Might not focus properly. Focus on the maple camera. There we go. The autofocus took a bit. Looks like you got what you wanted, and all I needed is Villano's blessing, which I believe I've got. I'll be moving out soon, so maybe we'll run into each other again. Yeah, I know you don't have enough. I, I made it expensive initially because I was worried that people were gonna try and redeem it over and over and over like back to back and I was never gonna get anything done other than petting Maple which I mean I personally don't mind and I know Maple doesn't mind and by petting I mean brushing but it hasn't happened at all and it's been basically an entire week so I might I might have to drop the cost a bit I'll still keep the um, lengthy timer on it though that way uh, that way it doesn't get redeemed too often. This old cat is going to stay here for a bit longer before moving on to my next step. Hec Hectos. You sure you'll be alright on your own, old man? Don't you worry. I might be old, but I can hold my own. <laughs> if you say so, see you around. I like this power a lot, and I'm very glad to have it. I'm still missing one core, but I got everything else. It's probably an area I couldn't reach because I wasn't able to access the other powers. Zelato. It's time for you to awaken. Our statue has been desecrated. Oh? Whoa. Spooky. My lord, General Zerminin, Zerminian, long time no see. It's been too long, sir. Okay, I'll get by, Maple. The troops have long awaited your return. Well, I'll line back so they can rest easy. Also inform the troops I've single-handedly found and retrieved the Nutoro Doma Stone from Velenos. With this, the barrier has been brought down, so I'm ready to expand my empire into the Notoro Domain. Apparently, our next stop is Hectos. Very good, sir. I'll inform the sisters at once. Yeah, except I'm kind of not going that way. I mean, I'm going this way to look, but kind of not going that way, you know what I mean? Well, then again, I suppose I don't have anything else to do. Except go this way. Are you just not going to let me have that? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna expand all over your territory, all around you. Invaders or otherwise. That didn't do too bad for damage. But what about that? Oh god, that's horrifyingly worse. 
There we go. This power is much better. Buzz off. Uh, I've got more than enough of those dudes, so let's build a barracks. And we'll also immediately build anti-air defense. more apples if I grab this. So since this is right here, I'll put a thing for apples. Yep, definitely need more apples. means I just claim everything. Phase out pain edition. Phase out now forms a small vortex of energy harmful to enemies. Uh, forms around Eve. Nice. Can't destroy that yet. I don't have the right power. Can't go that way. Still need even more apples, apparently. Oh wait, maybe I don't. Hold on. No one was occupying that other apple structure. Okay. And so now... Got more than enough people still. Let's go with more anti-air. ground troops. This is just the war territory. <laughs> Resources are much less important. Or they were, I didn't mean to build that, dang it. I wanted to build, I said, anti-air. There we go. I don't want to have to feed my peasants. Why would anyone want that? Picking the wrong structure. There we go. Was off. waiting for a couple of people to make their way over to here. Assuming I have anyone to fill in those spots. Do I? Oh yeah, they're there. They're making their way around. Everything good around here? Oh. Apparently I forgot to top that structure off. Everybody good over here. No need for repairs or nothing. No, we good. Excellent. Also, let's check. Two out of three cores, two out of three coins. One of three cores, one of three coins. Two of three cores, three of three coins. So the only thing I'm missing from there is a core. 
All right, what do you want, General Zermanian? Sir, the troops are ready for your orders. Good. I th then I think it's time that I start expanding into this area. Also, I'd like to swing by Hectos. It's an excellent strategy, sir. However, before your arrival, my sisters noticed that Hectos seems to be under the protection of some unusual energy. With that there, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be doing much in Hectos. Hmm. I don't like bad news, General. Yes, sir. Neither do we, sir. Fortunately, we believe we have a solution. The pillars around Hectos seem to be the source of that unusual energy. We believe that we can remove the barrier by occupying and calling our Zerm forces in to take control. However, we are not sure what will happen if we disturb the pillars. Guess we won't know if we don't try, General. Let's expand the Empire and occupy the pillars to call some Zerms in. Yes, sir. We'll wait for your call. And now I can continue to expand and take literally everything. With no consequences whatsoever. You're gonna get going? Alright. You have the good rest of your evening, Koi Donut. And thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, air burst. You can execute a dash while in the air. Oh, yes. Air dash. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Okay. Smelt chance plus 25%. Naturo Forge. Blaster Overdrive. Eve can charge her attack to release a large blast of Naturo energy. Yes, charge attack. Give. I've got a lot of offense structures. And not a whole lot else. I kind of need more people. But, else, but in order to have more people, I also need more apples. Can I unassign people? Yes, I can. Shall I dismiss you there to go there temporarily? Which will allow me to come here, build this house. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware I'm under attack. I can dismiss a couple more soldiers. Where do you think you're going? I didn't say you could leave. Okay, and I still need... Still need a couple more, so I'll grab... One... Ooh, whoa. That's not what I wanted. I'll still... So I'll grab one of you. Go to here. And... One of... One of you. To go here. As soon as I'm able to open up more space, I'll need more Zerm. Okay. Keep an eye on Hectos and the surroundings for any enemies. Remain vigilant, sisters. Of course. So I'm very aware I'm under attack. Was off. Stuck. Yep. 
Very glad I built a large army here. Not gonna lie. Whoa, that's a lot. How dare you attempt to invade my original home. so many. a lot of enemies. We did it! <laughs> Spectacular display of strength, sir. That goes without saying. I can head in and see if there is anything worth finding now that the energy is gone. Keep watch on the area until I get back, General. Of course, sir. I'm gonna make sure to tell everything to repair. And I can put new stuff as well. Uh, I'm gonna put a barracks. I've got more than enough soldiers. Dismiss you and reassign you here. I forgot to expand over here. Wait, I can't. Dang it. Meow. No, I never expanded over here either. Meow. Oh, let's see. Got enough apples. I'd need another village, though. Maximize my structures. Okay. While that's going, I shall also build yet more apples. And here we shall have yet more apples. Constructed all of my additional pylons. We go to Hectos. Increasing smelters, Empire Zerm soldier population to certain amounts can give Eve additional health points. Ooh, that's cool. That was a dinosaur. And I destroyed it. Okay, I guess I go up. I do go up. Okay. Wait. What 
am I doing? There we go. Use those extra power, brain. Don't get spotted. Oh boy, how am I supposed to avoid getting spotted by dinosaurs? Do I get points for destroying them? Just that they move slow enough. Oh, that counts as being seen. Attacking them counts. It does count against me. But even if I'd been able to one-shot them. Alright, alright. What? Come on, I was... I wanted to shoot the door. How am I supposed to get past that dude? Oh, I messed that up. and a curse. No, I didn't want to fall yet. God dang it. Once again, we remember the fact that I'm secretly terrible at these games. I just wanted to see if I could actually one-shot him with a charge attack. The answer is no. Can't see me if he's dead. Bull. I was already past. That's oh. I wish I could see their their like cone of sight. Make it a lot easier to understand what the timing actually is supposed to be. Absolutely climb to the ceiling.
There, good lord. All right, but I got it, so I never have to do it again. <laughs> Hi, Maple. How you doing? Curious. Oh. Only death is down there. Fair enough. feel like I could actually make that jump with uh, electric power, but I'd rather not find out that I'm wrong. Hello. So that thing just happens to float in the evil spirit water. I'm trying to go for the diagonal shots. Oh boy. Can I? Oh, I can. I can actually fire the charge shots in eight directions. Nice. Oh, hello! Ah, hey you two. I see you got past that pesky barrier, eh? You're damn right we did. By the way, I forgot to ask, what's your name anyway? The name's Tacton. THE Tacton? Eve, this guy is a legend! He was one of the heroes in the battle for who? <laughs> so you've heard of me. Although, I must tell you, most of us had no idea who we were fighting for. Still, I wish I could have seen it. But enough about that, what are you doing standing around here? Well, I'm making my way to the Shrine of Hectos, but these old bones can't make it over this ravine. My eyes can see a switch over yonder that might, uh, that might this bridge here. Would you two mind helping your elder out and raise it for me? Anything for the great Tacton. Let's go, Eve. Okay. I didn't know I was helping a war veteran. Excuse me, I'll take that. Take that, thanks for asking. Uh, boop. Oh crap, 
we're gonna be dust by the time he gets over here. Ooh, jeez, my dude. What the? Took off like a rocket and then some. Uh oh. Ow. coin opportunity. Still no idea where those apple cores are, though. Don't get hit. Of course. And there is going to be... Oh, God. Trying to outrace the flood. Well, so far, I was about to say, so far this side seems safe. Oh, God. I needed to go to the right. No. Or the left. Okay. Oh god, are they randomized? No, I was trying to jump into the corner. sure what's supposed to be safe there. Up, oh, please. What? Why was he so far separated from everybody? Let me up. Oh, come on, that corner really isn't safe. Where am I supposed to go? No, no, that isn't strong enough to destroy those. Trying to fight them is a waste of time. Ah. Where am I supposed to go? telling me that I need to use that either. That doesn't last long enough. <sighs> okay, there we go. I figured it out. I'm a fraction less dumb than I used to was. Maple. Hello. A little unfair. 
Hello again. Hey, didn't you say you needed our help? I sure did. Watching you fight across that ravine really lit a fire in my heart, which gave me the strength to make it across. But now I need a breather. I reckon there's another switch if you keep going. Mind getting it for me? Ow. Buzz off. Buzz off! I'm gonna die. Yippee! And off he goes. I swear. A oh, few checkpoint. Oh, I do not move with it. Oh, this is another climb. God dang it. Ow. Ow. This is unfair. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Let, let me out. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, just kill me. I don't even care. Ugh. Oh, you're so full of shit. Come on! Stop getting stuck on every little thing. Again, the hover is both a blessing and a curse. Let go, get off. Come on. Oh my god, forget it. Oh, I'm so mad. You know what? You know what? You know what? Kill me again, that's fine. I wasted time switching over. I don't like where this is going. You act like I don't see that down there. Oh, come on, how many does that take? 
Freaking... I feel like my attacks do not do the damage they should if I want to actually do something like that, unless I switch. Gotta be kidding me.
ain't got time for that. I love this game. I do. But I think I've had enough of that particular puzzle for one day. And I need to repair my stuff. Alright. Here's the save. There we go. I haven't saved my game this entire time. Alright. Cool beans. Okay, this game is a lot more, like, I I know I'm essentially rage quitting, but it is also after stream time. Hi, Maple. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is uh, going to be Dark Souls 3. Uh, uh, collab with Seishi the Pirate King. And then there's going to be nothing on Saturday. And then fr or Friday, Monday, we'll be resuming with uh, Pokemon X Nuzlocke. Tuesday, we'll be picking up with Near Automata. And Wednesday, we'll be back to Cross Code. All right. So, all that being said, thank you everybody so very much for watching. Uh, I don't know if anyone is, I know, is streaming right now. Doesn't look like there's anybody that I'm particularly comfortable with trying to raid. So we will just end it here. Alright. And again, because I'm terrible at my outros. Thank you everybody so very much for joining me. And I hope to see you all again next time. Ciao!